lot of stress. Yeah. Look, uh, dreams bigger than the house that I grew up in. Bigger than the city where you lose the win. One of a kind, born leader. You could never get a duplicate. Doubted by my own, what I thought became lucrative. Every night I prayed, every night I slayed. Knew I had to pay. For my way to be paid, sight seeker and my mind deeper. Ego killer, mind strong with divine features. While I'm seen, watch for Judas Green. Designed to fail, ain't the way I think. Now I have a daughter, pray I get to see her at the altar. Educated woman, watch her chasing all her dreams. Pray on my knees while the eye on my jeans. Vision seen, time for war. Never hit the floor, lines war, baby. I'm in your. We'll start off, uh, what's your name? Uh, my real name? Uh, I don't know. You want to you want to tell people your real name? I don't think anybody knows your real name. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> my name is Papa J Ruiz, but uh, my real name Joshua Ruiz. So no middle name, no nothing. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Con. Uh, well, my parents was born in Bogota, Colombia, and I was born in in Glendale, California, Los Angeles County, so Glendale, and then I moved to Denver three years old and that's where that's what raised me was out there in the city of Aurora Denver who made you want to be a rapper in the beginning who made uh, you want to get into rapping? I say Eminem and my big brother he, he listened to everything so he listened to Pun, Big uh, Big L he listened to Bone he listened to anybody anybody West Coast because he grew up out here like for real he was all into that, so I would say he got me into shit. But Eminem, Bone, DJ Quick, you know, like those real rappers, those those the ones that got me into like rap music and shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Listening to it. When did you first touch the mic? I, like mm, performing wise, I would say 16, 17. And like to record myself, I'll say 14. 14 is when I started recording myself. Who was your, uh, your class bully growing up? My class bully growing up? There was this kid named Ethan back in the day. But he wasn't bullying me. You know what I'm saying? But he was a bully. He was like, everybody would see him and they'd be like, oh yeah, he tough. You know what I'm saying? He's a tough little person to come by. You know, you don't want him to piss him off. So, that was like back in the school days and shit. You know what I'm saying? When was the first time you asked a girl, and what happened? Did you get rejected, or did you get accepted? First time I asked a girl, like, asked a girl out? Yeah, like as a kid, like what, the earliest The earliest I, I ever did it? Yeah. Uh, I was, I say sixth, seventh grade, and yeah, I got rejected. <laughs> Straight up, because I'm not who I am now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I was who I am now, they would have never rejected me. But, nah, yeah, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I was just... I've always been into, uh, I always love black women. That's why my fiance is black. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love it. So, back then as a kid, I was, that's what I always been chasing, you know? But back then, they was rejecting me left and right. Left and right. From, from like the first OGT, remember, um, OGT members you can remember, <laughs> who would you work with to like this present day? Who? Bon Po. Yeah, that's, that's my brother, brother regardless, you know what I'm saying? Even if we were never to do music ever again, that's still my brother, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, him, anytime. Anytime he give me a call, I'm there, period. What's your favorite song from each album that you have released so far out of the top of your head? If you can answer that. Ooh, that's, that's a tough one. So, you want me to start with which project you want me to start with? Boy Meets World? Two. Mm, I don't even know what songs is on that shit, bro. Uh, Boy Meets World. I say I think it's Strike Me Down. It's probably my favorite one off of that one. If if that's the one that has Strike Me Down, yeah, Strike Me Down. Cause I still remember to this day where I was when I wrote it, uh, and how I felt. You know what I'm saying? I just really wanted to rap for real. Uh, what other projects I have? Um, no Recollection, my favorite song off of No Recollection would probably have to be, probably about it. 
Bout is my favorite one off of No Rag. It's straight hip hop, rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still ain't heard a motherfucker rap as good as I did on that song to this day. For real. And that's not being cocky, that's just being uh, very loving to the culture of rap and lyricism, you know? Uh, early prep, I'd say Kiss the Sky Off Tops. That song is one of the best songs I ever wrote. Still remember who I was. My mom's basement just wrote it, you know what I'm saying? It was right after the massacre in Colorado. So it's like, I was just thinking about a lot of shit. And what's the other, stop, I see What's the other song, uh, what's the other project? No Wreck, Early Crack, Boy Meets World. Uh, Don't Trust the Devil, I would say, is Paid in Full. That's my favorite song off of that album. And then, what other projects I got? East Money Bless You, I would say, is a stunner. Stunning. That, that, when I heard that beat, bro, I just knew that shit was beautiful. So, yeah, the yeah. music video came out hard, too. Yeah, that's one of the illest videos Poe did ever. That shit's hard. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got. Yeah, I got, I got East Money Bless You. And then my new one, uh, Your Moment Is Now, I would say is my favorite song off of Your Moment Is Now. I would have to say is that's hard. I'd probably say power. The new one I just dropped. I'll say power. Yeah. I got another uh, quick question. Yeah. For um, I think it was Kiss the Sky. Yeah. Well, what we'll gave you the idea for the for the president like kind of mask mm -hmm. for the music video? Hmm. Point Break. You ever seen Point Break, the movie from back in the day with Keanu Reeves? Kevin, uh, not Kevin Spacey, uh, Patrick Swayze. They rob banks yeah. and they throw on the president's mask. So I had the idea, of, like, that's one of my favorite movies and shit. I say, you know what? This is one of the first videos I'm ever doing in my city. I never did a video in my city. That was the first video I did. Poe flew out, like, let's shoot something. And I just knew I had to make it memorable. So I already knew what the song was about. And I just said, you know what? What's one of my favorite movies? I thought about Point Break. And I seen how they had the mask. I said, let's go, let's go grab an Obama mask, the Mitt Romney mask, and just wear them in there and make a statement. You know what I'm saying? Because we from the streets and shit, and ain't no president ever came to our neighborhoods and been like, yo, we gonna make it better or something. This so it was kind of like uh, me showing like, yo, like, like they should come down here with us. You know what I'm saying? And be part of the people. Where do you find all your music and like producers or beats wise like now? Uh, producers and, and all that like music for me to rap on, I always find it like just reaching out to producers and then working with producers in my city like in person, you know what I'm saying, going to the studio and then they just make beats in front of me. It's easier to create a vibe that way in person with a producer. But uh, I'm always open to working with producers, reach out to me. People that just been fans that are producers, they reach out to me and I, would, I just love to work with anybody, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's how I find most of my beats and shit is the internet connect with people. What music motivates you other than rap? Uh, Spanish music. You know what I'm saying? Just hearing it in, in my household because they talk about so much stories. It's like storytelling. You know, I listen to all the Colombian music my daddy play at home when I was younger and it was just always stories about love, stories about hustling, stories about taking care of your family, it was just stuff like that. So I think that very much helped me put that into rap, because rap already got that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll say that. Rock and roll too, I love rock and roll, for real. How well do you know the Baby Shark song now? Ah, uh, when he first was born, I knew it. You know what I'm saying, my daughter don't like it. But uh, I, a little uh, daddy shark, <laughs> that one? Yeah, I know that, <laughs> I know the rhythm. Not the lyrics, but yeah. What kind of music you, do you listen to that no one, that you don't think anybody would know that you would listen to? That I, that I, that I listen to that probably people don't know. Yes. That I would like think that I listen to besides yeah. Spanish music. I would say like '80s rock, like '80s music, like anything '80s. Is so dope. Even the songs that even the artists that never became. Beautiful. They still have like incredible songs. So yeah, I say eight.